Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Fire Emblem Awakening. And um, before we go on to the next mission, um, we are going to do some optional fights here. So I actually went by and I went and looked at kind of what the levels are for each of the people that we do have optional fights for. These guys were between like 12 and 14. Mostly 14s. These guys are closer to level 11. And these guys are like 15. Um, these guys are definitely the toughest ones on the, on the map. We're gonna start here, and then maybe we'll choose one of the other two to do as well if we have the time. Um, we'll see how long this one takes us. Um, I want to do one of the lower level ones to work on people like Stall and Sully. So, I, yeah, let's see. Let's see what we got here. So, I could work on Naui a little bit, and Donald will just go along for the ride. Gaius and Pan. Let's go ahead and do um, Stall and Sully. Gregory Cordelia, maybe? Kellum Maribel. Let's do that. inventory. Oh, let's go ahead and do our supports. In fact, I need to do barracks as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, this first one here. I'm in top form today. Gained a surge of skill and luck. I studied up on some practical combat strategies. No one will die on my watch. Gain 20 experience. What's this? Hmm, don't mind if I do. You got a superior axe. So some of you may be wondering why I got all that stuff. Um, look down in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, pan there. Happy birthday, Robin. So the birthday that we set was January 7th. Um, you are watching this much later than January 7th, but I am recording this on January 7th, which is in fact my birthday. <laughs> so that's what that's all about. Watch the supports, and then we'll get into that fight. Okay, Donald and Nowie, A rank. Beautiful. Yes! Hey, Donnie, I remember where I was born. Amazing! Oh, yeah, where at? Listen. It's all the way left from here. Huh? Uh, what? You mean west? Nope. No, left, across the ocean, and, and, and way to the left. Hmm. I ain't sure I follow. You don't know any landmarks or nothing? Mm. No, not really. I was kidnapped right after I was born. Aren't you over a thousand years old? Are you kidding me, Nowie? Uh, oh gosh, that's terrible. Hmm. It's my dream to go back to my homeland someday. Oh man, has she has she been like enslaved for thousands of years? Huh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe I've got friends and family there, right? Hey. Well, if I find it first, I reckon I'll be sure to come running and tell you. Really? You promise? Oh, oh, and if I find it, I'll come tell you too. I owe you. Now that there's a square deal. Okay. Yeah, I I'm really hungry. <laughs> Wait. I sure do have trouble keeping up with you sometimes, Nowie. <laughs> but if your tummy's a rumbling, I set me a trap a couple days ago. Want to go see if we caught anything? Yeah. If we got us a rabbit, I'll fix you a Donnie special. Thanks. Oh, you're the bestest, Donnie. Friggin' adorable. Friggin' adorable, those two. Rickon and Cordelia. They weren't paired up for that long. Listen. Rickon, how are you feeling? Are your little legs tired from all the marching little legs? Oh, dear. Don't talk down hey, I'm to not me. a child, you know. <laughs> uh, apologies, I didn't mean to imply that you were a child. I'm just worried you might be overdoing it. There's no shame in admitting you need the rest. We all get tired sometimes. Hey! Not you, you're always full of beans. I've never heard you complain once. I don't know how you keep going all the time without stopping. Huh? It would take a lot more marching than this to wear me out, I assure you. Hmm? I know, I could march all day. Well? 
then why are your legs still quivering like pudding? <laughs> My legs are not quivering like pudding. Rickon, you can barely stand. If the enemy were to fall upon us now, you'd be dead. Listen, when we set off again, I want you to ride in one of the convoy wagons. You might even have time for a quick nap. You could use one. Oh, come hey, on! I don't need a nap. I'm not a... Right. Once you're feeling better, I need your help with some camp chores. But you're no good to me right now, so sleep. And that's in order. Ah, <sighs> oh, fine. Sheesh. <sighs> Goodness, that was difficult. All right. There's the two that we have. Let's get back in here. Okay, so we've selected our units. Um, no, I need to be in inventory. What am I doing? I think I'll give you a Lave's Blade instead of a Killing Edge. I mean, maybe not. You need experience, and that means I need you to get kills. And the Killing Edge might be the thing that I need to get me over that edge. Ah, no. They're too valuable right now, and we don't have access to more. Lave's Blade. Okay. We should try and use that hill. We only have, yeah, we only have the two, okay. Beast Killer might actually be pretty useful on this map. Have you drop that though for uh, an iron? Yeah, let's try and let's try and break that one. there, four units down there. Okay. You've got the Beast Killer. Callum and Maribel. I'm okay with that. But after this, I need to remember to go and buy some more vulneraries. It's too bad I don't have access to buying concoctions yet. I think that um, we're going to open up a lot of things after this next chapter, though. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see.
Now, do I want Donald separate, just in case we need that, or do I want the passives from him? Guessing you have spears. No, you have a sword. Okay. So you can keep your steel sword on, or we, you know what? Let's try that. We'll see what happens. Pretty freaking weak. It's pretty sad. This kill without the beast killer. Not really. Now here's a thought. You might be able to outright kill this one. If we can get the other two to kill these two, like you can probably, yep, you can do that one. Can you do this one? Yes. So we can take out all three of them right now. Nice. get the support as well. Good. Yes, that spear has teeth. Don't ask. It's kind of hoping for a crit. It's the only way we're ever going to be able to kill anything with him, I feel like. <laughs> okay, is it just the one left? It's just the one left. Okay, let's look at our options first. Uh, 
I always expect you to be able to use a bow, but that might, I think that's like an assassin class that I'm thinking of. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll pair you two up. We'll open with you. Both kind of at level 12, so. 62% chance to get hit back. Just for you. Nice, dude. I thought that maybe by putting, like, supporting Pan here would get a support for him, too, but it doesn't work that way with heals. a short spear. reach. Okay, good. That could have been very dangerous. She might just finish off the rest of these guys. She's that strong right now. Good level up. There's the bullion. Okay. No double here. I'm actually okay with that. Wow, you did not need to do that. <laughs> Zero. That short spear doesn't have enough might. Jesus, Donald. Heading for that S rank, huh? Okay. Um, I'm going to let Stall get this kill. I'm going to let you pair up. That way we hopefully get support. Let's see if healing... Okay, I didn't see a second heart, so I don't think Kellum actually got any support from that. Stall and Sully are really uh, not impressing me. Lord, 
Um, I may drop both. Well, I mean, I, I kind of want somebody who goes through a Cavalier style class. I, I need to work on one of them, but they're both just like growing so poorly right now. I don't think they're going to keep up. I don't think the game's going to give me much of a choice. Okay. Well, we need vulneraries. I carry only the finest. Do I have any other ones in uh, convoy? Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. We got money. Okay, yeah, we got lots of money there. Oh, nice. All right, Pan and Gaius. Can't believe they haven't even started theirs. One pot of honey and that's it. This is barely going to last three days and I just ate my last candied fig this morning. Hmm. Gaius? Huh? And you, Pan? Uh, what can I do for you? Please. What are you doing here? I rarely see you manspawn clamoring on sheer cliffs. <sighs> I was collecting hu- uh, That is to say, I'm here on a mission. Yeah, that's right. A very important and dangerous mission. Look at that <laughs> smug smile. He's looking for honey. He just wants sweets. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I can tell you're impressed, Whiskers. Don't try to hide it. Oh, you know- I don't know if I'd call her Whiskers, dude. Seem, seems like the wrong move. You're thinking... Crivens? Crivens? Is that a word? Crivens, this must be a brave and agile man to be. Good question. Your dexterity would be below average among the Tegwell. And do not call me Whiskers. <sighs> uh, below average, eh? <sighs> I admit when I saw you at a distance, I thought you might be one of my kin. Perhaps a particularly clumsy friend who managed to hide among these rocks. <laughs> but it was a fool's hope. <sighs> Yikes. When you say that, I feel kind of bad for clamoring around up here. No. It is all right. You did not know. Easy there. But, uh, before you go... Yes. Yes? Ugh. You know a good way of getting down from here? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Maribel and Callum getting their B rank. Darling. Callum? Callum, darling. Come out, come out, wherever you are. What? Y you called? Clearly. Here, I got these for you. Okay. Gosh, what nice clothes. They look expensive. <laughs> well, you didn't expect I'd hand over a pile of rags, did you? She does like her fashion. Now, normally these would be far too fine for a commoner such as yourself. But considering the circumstances, I thought you deserved something decent. Thank you. That's mighty kind of you, milady. But I really like my armor and... Big mistake. I hope you aren't about to say that your silly armor is better than these silks. Sorry. It's just that I think I'd prefer to stay as I am, if it's all the same to you. What? Oh, Tosh Bosh, why be so stubborn? <clears throat> when I first joined the Shepherds, I was terrified I wouldn't be able to fight. I thought I'd be useless in battle and, and, and end up being left behind and forgotten. Now you're not useless in battle, but still just kind of there and forgotten. Whoops. Truth be told, I was really close to quitting and just going home. Not that anyone would have noticed. That's kind of sad, honestly. <sighs> but just when things were at their lowest, this armor arrived from home. The whole village had pitched in to make it, uh, make it because they were so proud of me. Imagine, the first boy to make it out, and now serving the prince no less. Really? I didn't realize your story was so inspiring. <clears throat> this armor reminded me of the hopes and dreams of the people back home. And even if they got my size wrong, I'm gonna keep wearing it. <sighs> Yes, uh, well, perhaps I was wrong to chastise you without knowing the circumstances. I pray we can put this little incident behind us. No. Oh, of course, Maribel. I know you were just worried about me. All right, theirs is, like, surprisingly sweet, too, actually. Considering Maribel can be kind of harsh and rough around the edges. Okay. I think we're going to do this one next. This one's a little higher level. Um, 
Now, let's see something real quick. I actually don't know if Maneki is considered a lower class or a higher class. Oh, she's not a level 10 yet, so I can't really check that. Okay, once we reach level 10, we'll take a look at the second seal, master seal stuff, and from that we should be able to suss out um, what what tier of class she's technically in right now. Um, actually, yes, let's look at the map. One fast boy, one monster boy, lots of axe boys. Barbarians and fighters. Mostly fighters. I guess I only get one, huh? slow to put in the back. get into that forest. Okay, if somebody goes into that forest, you'll be able to be attacked twice. For the supports, I'd prefer to have her separate, but we're going to do it for the supports. And since there was only one charge of this, we're actually going to put this on, I think. So there's that. Now, that's those two. doubling this guy. Good. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. We need more of that, huh? I think I'm going to feed Stall as many kills as I can. Go. 
having a sword out when there's this many axes by us is a good idea. Um, we need to kill some of these guys. And by some of these guys, I mean lots of these guys. Still the one that we should open. Up. Might be resetting. I feel like uh, I went a little sloppy here. the other one axe guy is the only one who can reach, so I think we're okay now. <laughs> Alright, that's another stall kill, that's good. Too, my dude. You really do. Their beast form is actually pretty cool. I dig it. Pretty low hit chances, but it just takes a little bit of bad luck, you know? 26, huh? survive at least one more hit, so as long as this 82 doesn't miss, Longku is not in danger of dying. We'll do it together. 
Probably smart to go after him. He is, he is the softest. <laughs> okay, um, we want to try and give this kill to stall. Yeah, Donald jumps in a lot. Okay. Sorry, Stall. Should have unequipped him. I always forget to do shit like that. I was also planning on getting that shiny right there with one of the other characters. Oh well. That's what I get for not being uh, attentive to the little details. Like unequipping Donald, who is my strongest unit in the game right now. <laughs> Their S rank. All right, Nelly and Donald. They getting hitched, ladies and gentlemen. They hooking up. Look at these kids growing up. Growing up right before our very eyes. He says about the one who's actually a kid and the one who's a thousand years old. This is probably the largest age difference in the entire games when you think about it. <laughs> hey, Nelly. So I was thinking, of course, this thousand year old still acts like a child, so. <laughs> we both got things we're looking for, right? Okay. Right. I got your back. Well, why don't we look for them together? Really? Oh, that's a great idea. Here, let's promise. Pinky swear. Hmm. Uh, I was thinking of something a mite different than a pinky swear. Huh? Uh, thumb swear? Yeah. I reckon this one's gonna need your ring finger. Whoa! Oh, I see. Donald, are you saying what I think you're saying? Because I huh. sure am. It's a marriage proposal. Aha! I knew it. People forget I've been around the block a few thousand times. <laughs> How many times have you been married? <laughs> yeah. Well, now it's finally time to take things to the next level. Let's have your hand then. <laughs> Here. Hey. It's a perfect fit. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Yeah. Now we're promised to each other. Listen. No take backs. Huh? Until you die, Donald. Then she'll find someone new. <laughs> Don't you go and worry about that. I'm gonna live out my life at your side. Thanks. Thanks. Donnie, you're the best. I owe you. I'm so happy. I'm gonna dance a jig. Yeehaw. Alright. Pan and Lonku. <sighs> I should be safe now. There's no way you could track me out. Hold. Oh, you are no ordinary man. Enough of this game. Tell me what you want and leave me be. Get back. Do not come near me. Stay away from you? What do you think I've been trying to do all day, you ignorant man spawn? No. I found this bag. It's full of weeds or something. Right. That's my bag. Right. I know. You dropped it near the camp. <sighs> Is that why you chased me over hill and dale? Why didn't you just tell me? Thanks. Yes, well, when I saw your face, I became paralyzed with fear. <laughs> and then you fled before I had a chance to explain. <sighs> oh, this is insulting, right? It sounds really bad, but it's, he's afraid of women, not not beast women. To be clear, not Tegwell. Wait, don't forget your weeds. No. I don't want them or the bag. They're yours now. <laughs> Blast, what am I supposed to do with these? I wonder if they taste good? Ugh, oh, poor idea. Yeah, she definitely took offense to that because she definitely thought that he was afraid of her because she's a Tigwell. Whoops. Okay, Stalin Sully. <clears throat> Enough, I yield. Hmm. Oh, come on, you're better than this. Now you're just letting me win. Nah. No one lets you win anything, Sully. You take victories by force. <sighs> That's your excuse. <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, you know what I'm like. Oh, uh, yeah? You lack confidence because you don't know yourself well enough. Here, shake my hand. Go on, shake the damn thing. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Hmm. Well, what do you feel? Tell me how my hand and yours are different. Um... Well, yours is smaller than I would have thought. 
and really soft. It's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> right. You're getting distracted. Focus on the first thing you said. You're bigger than me, and you've got more muscle. Also, you're a better writer. So explain how it is that I keep kicking your arse all over the battlefield. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess you just project this aura? Like you're going to eat me for breakfast, you know? <laughs> yeah. Some, some would take uh, insult from that. I think Sully um, kind of would love that. All in your head. Change your attitude and you'll be a better fighter overnight. Wow. You really think so? Huh. Wait, now you're just pushing me around in a different way. <laughs> Except that I'm right. And if you're smart, you'll listen to me. So, what do you say? Another round? Very nice. You're on, and I'm standing my ground this time. Okay. He's still behind. You think we can do a third fight in this episode before an hour's up? We've been doing these in about 20 minutes. This one's gonna be... harder. Nah. Yeah, I don't know. I can't do this one with my weaker people, and that's really the only purpose that I have for these fights right now. Um, my weaker people, especially like Stahl. Stahl is the one that I need to work on the most. I feel like once we get Stahl and Sully to A, or to S I mean, um, we may have to consider just dropping them if they, if they aren't keeping up still. Um, I don't think we're going to do this one. I think we're basically ready to go into... The next what map, the next chapter. With? Let's see, I think it's actually in somebody's inventory. Ooh, we got a steel axe too. Cool. I think it was only the one, right? Oh no, we got another one. Cool. And we got lots of money now. Okay, so we're going to be going here next for chapter 11, so thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.